All right, welcome back to episode four. This is Chasing Whiskey. I'm Terry. Episode five. Welcome back to Chasing Whiskey to episode five. Uh, I'm Terry. I'm James. And we have another bottle and we have some glasses. What do we have today, James? Well, yes, uh, last week we decided we wanted to um, understand what makes a rye. So we have a rye. Woohoo! Lot and 40. Maybe we can uh, give it a little review. This is a Canadian rye, which makes sense. We're Canadian. We did we did look for uh, all of the different ryes, but um, this one jumped out at us because the the bottle was very I don't know how you would describe it. It's almost crafty. Yeah, if you look the uh, the label is is crooked, but it's crooked in, on purpose. <laughs> they were all the same, but it has like a etch not even etched. It's it's like a, a and it's almost like a former label in the background. It is still the, the same label from the original uh, bottle. And it, yeah, there's something underneath the label. I wish I could see, I don't want to ruin the bottle, but it looks like a, a, an image of a still and maybe the steps to to creating the, yeah, the rod. Yeah, it looks like the steps in it. It's like A through L or A I, I guess. And it looks like the steps and there's a diagram up at the top that shows, it's hard to see with the light, right? But there's like a diagram with the uh, it looks like the distillery or the distillation process. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. So maybe after we're done the bottle, we'll take the label off and look at the rest. But for now, it's gonna look pretty on the shelf. Yeah. Um, if you wanna open it, maybe I can tell you folks what I learned about rye. Yeah, that was our question last week, in case you remember. Like, what, what is a rye? What makes something a rye? Right, um, so, uh, in last week we I talked I about, I was wrong. Remember, <laughs> remember how you found that to be a bourbon, you had to be at least 51% corn. corn. Yeah. And it gives it its sweet taste. Um, rye is made with rye. Now this is where it gets confusing. If we're in the in the states we're, who make fantastic rye, um, it has to be 51% rye. And in Canada, um, we kind of historically call everything rye whiskey so there's is that because there's a lot of rye in canada or it's a very hardy crop and it grows very well in canada okay. um works well in the cold um it does get cold. as do we <laughs> and but it's very interesting because you can actually have a rye whiskey that doesn't have any rye like zero zero th that's what By i read the rules okay. okay there are no rules so in canada. the lack of rules implies you could right do people do that? No, in oh. fact, so I looked this up and from what I could find, this is actually made with 100%. It's 90% rye mash combined with a 10% rye malt. Okay, that's interesting. So I guess that so makes it's rye it with rye, but it's malted rye versus... Right. Okay. With, okay. Now, in the States, I believe it has to be uh, put into new charred Oh, American Oak just barrels. like, bur just like bur bourbon, bourbon, but 51% rye instead of corn. Right. Oh, wow. So you could literally have something that's 49% corn and 51% rye in the exact same process as a bourbon, but it's not a bourbon. It's a rye. I guess. Yes. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, I wonder where the, I guess, to the rule and... <laughs> um, there, you know, you can combine different things and, and do the distilling so many different ways. There's so many variables that you can tune to get your specific uh, rye. Okay. And in the States, I think you have to age it for two years. Okay. Like the bourbon? Was it two years? I think it was minimum two years, yes, I believe so. Okay, so, back so in Canada, yeah. it has to be three years. For rye or for any kind of whiskey? I think for any kind of whiskey. Okay. So and to be whiskey, it's got to be three years. Right. Probably. Which is con consistent with the scotch. Right. Which is also three, three years. years minimum barrels, right? Yeah. Yes. So. Okay. What do you think of the color before we continue the story? 
it's uh, I think it's very caramel, just like the bourbon, to be honest. It's very rich. I mean, it's not looking. as dark as the Elijah Craig. The Elijah Craig has a red tinge to it, but I don't know if that's mm. just a light. This is but, more golden. Yeah, a little bit, but it's D still dark. caramel. Dark. Very dark. Yeah. Here. Caramelly. So there's what? Caramelly gold. Are you reading? No. Okay. <laughs> Sounded official. It does say drink responsibly, I guess is what it says. Crafted in small that. batches. Oh, we shouldn't read yet. We want to. Well, I don't think in, it says anything other than that. Right. So Matt, what do you think? You know what? I'm smelling something very different that we haven't smelled before. Yeah. Did you say the same thing? I'm smelling I don't... the rye. <laughs> well, yeah, but what? what does it remind you of? It smells stronger than it is. What is this, 42 or 46? Or what is it again? I thought it was 43. Yeah, 43. And but like, it's spicy. I'm getting, I was going to say, I hate to say this, but like a paint thinner smell. But oh. not a bad paint thinner smell. It's like a... How is there a good paint thinner smell? Well, you know how it's it's not... It's kind of leftover after you've cleaned up the mess? I need to, I need to try. Cheers. Not my favorite of what we had, but I do like it. Um, it doesn't taste like anything else we've had yet, do you think? Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. We've we've been kind of building our vocabulary around a certain palette, and this is... Um, this took a 180. Yeah. And I, I don't say paint thinner with a bad, <clears throat> it's just that it's a, an alcoholic smell. I don't know what else to call it. Well, we could, we have a solution to that. Which is what? We could add a little bit of water. See if it changes things? Okay, let me have one more sip first. Yeah, let's do that. I know you said it was a surprise. I see the surprise now. Okay, so, so what's the surprise? a couple episodes ago, um, we talked about water. We tried to add water. We, we didn't did. have the tools. No, we didn't. So, uh, we went online and looked for options to for water and They can be very cheap and very expensive. There's nothing in the middle. You can get like cheap You know water droppers with a rubber. I think the stopper. term I used was I don't want anything that you use to give a baby medicine I think was the term yes. I used and it's you also said there's some that cost the same as a bottle of scotch And I'm like yes. I'd rather buy a bottle There are some <laughs> very expensive scotch. ones <laughs> and uh, but then I thought of this so these are um, here. Really so are they essentially good. just glass straws? Is it is a glass straw. And all you do is put your finger over the top. That's it. And, and and these, you know, you could have these in a in a glass on your little, you know, whiskey space. Unless you have a cat. And uh, that's true. Because <laughs> they I mean they are pretty thick. That's what and, you're saying. Uh, <laughs> My job. I know it is. <laughs> yeah. So um, show me. So well, grab, if, a, grab a glass. We have a glass there. Pull if, it up. If you recall, um, they say you should only do like two or three drops max. So I'm going to so, do this and go. Bye. Now, if it was a pipette, the physical drop would be smaller, but because you're using a small amount in the glass in the first place, yeah. you can probably just let that go. It's probably two drops or three drops, right? You can't even get it. Right? It's sticky. It's sticky. What's that called? Remember grade uh, grade nine science? There you go. One, two, two three. three. Woo! Here. Now so you try. What's it called when the when the, uh, the precipice or something? I think that's when it bends along the top. But what happens when it's uh... it's the force keeping the one, two. Come on, one more. So maybe not as accurate as the fifty dollar, but no. But hey. I don't think you even need to let go of your finger. Like you just literally, yes, let it drop. And that you know, it that is probably just as accurate by letting it drop. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, let's see now. Okay. So mm. the harshness I was smelling. It's gone it's smooth. Okay. The harshness I was smelling is gone, which blows my mind. Something as small. Three as drops. That. It opened it right up. So. Okay, that's that's interesting. Now, what's funny is I 
Even though we added water to one of them, I forget which one it was now, probably the air. I, I, I added so much water, I ruined it. Yeah. Um, there was no, there was nothing there where I was like, I, this is fine. It's a good. I like it. I could, maybe couldn't describe it. I couldn't, you know, discern what the, the flavors were. But that's just a lack of experience. I went from. But this year had a had a nice, stringent smell, and it doesn't anymore. I haven't tasted it yet since the water. But I think that's the rye. They say it's spicier. Okay. Yes. So it's not like not like heat spice, more like baking spice kind of thing. You mean or? I don't know how to describe. It. Not caliente. But like the not red pepper, but like no. but like cinnamon or maybe or allspice or something like that, maybe? Like the, the bourbon, the corn makes it sweet. Yes. That makes sense. This is spicy. It tastes spicy. Okay. You know what? That that does make it better. But it mellows it right out with the It didn't take much at all. Very good. You know what? I wasn't enjoy. I wouldn't say I wasn't enjoying it. I was enjoying it relative to the other ones, and that completely changed it. Yeah, and the other thing about the um, the water when I was doing that research, I was kind of against the water because I thought to be a purist you would, you know, but apparently the the water they say does two things. It it actually traps the the harsh flavors you don't want to taste and releases uh, the ones that you do want to taste so but you know what I would like to know what about ice so yeah so and I think I told you this when I go to the little scotch bar in town whiskey bar I always get ice on the side so I can put it in like a drop of ice because I find if you ask for ice in they fill the freaking glass of ice it's way too much ice one it makes it too cold two it just dilutes it like crazy um, but I found one would oftentimes you know just be enough and I guess it's probably that equivalent beautiful. of dropping in a few drops of water but then over time it gets less and less and less that's one of my favorites really yeah. really maybe it's because I'm Canadian I don't know I wouldn't say it's my favorite but I'm enjoying it now more than I was before the water mm -hmm. pour us another while I ramble on yep. so then um, but ice so when that's I nice shirt, by the way. oh well nice watch thank you thank you now is there that, any notes on here uh, I don't, there is something really tiny here um, it just talks about how it's uh, crafted in small batches using rye grain in a single copper pot and aged in virgin oak barrels. It doesn't say anything about char, it just says virgin oak. It doesn't have to be charred in Canada, so... Nope. Um, it doesn't even have to have rye. But that's true. Uh, but we, don't, we know that it does. And there's no other... Uh, um, it does say burning wood here in that, in that back description. Mm, there's there's a something it. about yeah, it. Yeah, so... Maybe someday we'll be able to relieve, relieve that of its, uh, of, its, of its label and actually read the back. Oh, I need some more water. Can you pass me some more? Yeah, sure. So then, uh, yeah, so back to my ice, non-ice story. Um, oh! oh, you did it again. We're learning. Or failing, what do they do? So <clears throat> he had the, <laughs> just keep going. That's a, that's a great tip. Yeah, if you put in too much water, just, fill up your scotch again, or your whiskey, pardon me. It's still good. Yeah. Um, so he had used those cubes, the little frozen cubes that you can get. They weren't ice, they weren't water. They were just like little rocks and stones. So I wondered, like, I had a great night that night. I drank lots and enjoyed it, I enjoyed it all. Um, I don't think it would have mattered if we had had beer. The company you keep mm -hmm. oftentimes is more That's important part than, of the whiskey. Than, the, uh, than the booze. Um, but I wonder if, if coldness like I know when I did the single ice cube at the whiskey bar I knew it opened it up and made it taste a little better and then it got two weeks later but I wonder if the cold actually does anything does it change it do you think why don't you research that for next week the ice what does ice cold do? or even just cold not ice specifically oh, well yeah but we know what water does right kind of don't we Water opens it up, right. just just a few drops. Which, if you drop an ice cube, it Eventually could be more. There. Now, I'm not big on putting other objects like the metal balls or things in my drink. Um, uh, the the whiskey stones do look nice. It's funny. It doesn't matter how much it's not as good as something else. It's still good. 
Do you know what I mean? I know you say. Well, what are you comparing this to? Everything else we've had. And I would say. So this is your, are you saying this is your least favorite? Thus far, yeah. yeah. Oh, you call yourself Canadian? I call myself international. I know. A couple of these arbitrary borders that we made. No, you know where. I'm red and white. Mm. We've come a long way, episode yeah. five. We now have a, a shelf. A worthy collection. <laughs> That's what the extent of his French, but yeah, it <laughs> looks good. And uh, yeah, it looks impressive in here. Uh, learn how to use my dropper. I think I think more volume and then less. Okay, that looks good. So if you don't even plug it, if you just go like this, you might drop it away. Yeah, that works. You can get about three drops without doing anything. Top in the top. Top in the top. All Lock right. Top in the top. Yeah. So, so one more cheers, and let's have a sip. And talk about. Uh, our I can tip. taste that hearty rye. I I don't know what rye tastes like, but you know what? I think now I do you. now. Uh, so I think our tip, our tip is probably. You know, get yourself some cheap dropper solutions, right? Would you buy this again? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, would you? Yes. Really? Yes, I think um, in my collection. Well, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So, we were both at the liquor store, but you bought it. Yep. Uh, and you went through, because of COVID, we had to go through the cash register at different so times and there... stay six feet apart. So I have no idea what the price was. I know it was under $100 because you would have been like holding on to the next section because you're cheap as I am. So would I buy it again for $100? Absolutely not. Tell me the price and let's see if I change my mind. Because it opens up with a bit of water. It actually has a lot more flavor with a bit of water. I found it too, I'll use the word astringent, I don't know if that's the right word, but it was a bit harsh. I don't know what that means. I just, again, I said it smelled like a bit like, you know, paint remover or turpentine. Or no. But it doesn't now. With a little bit of water, it doesn't at all. It's beautiful. I didn't think it did before. Well, I did. So, is there any price you would buy this for your collection? If it's under... $40, I'd have it on my shelf for someone who likes a rye because I think it's probably a good rye, but I have zero reference to back that up. So, you know my palate's sweet. Love the bourbon. Mm -hmm. This, there's something, I love it. Really? I love the. So it's a you would buy again for sure. I love for sure, that sure, it's no Canadian rye. And it's really rye. It's not just named yeah. rye. It actually is essentially 100% rye. 90. Uh, and and there's something about this kind of being ours, which is um, works for me. Um, so know, have you had an experience I'll, with the other Canadian ryes, like the Canadian no. Club? Well, I've the, had uh, them, but... But you don't ex remember. That's like me. I've had right. them with a Coke or something. Outside right? like of I, this journey, right? Yeah, yeah. This has a longevity to it. I gotta say, the third glass is better than the first. Anyway, James likes it. Cheers.